Here it is. I got the motor mounted. I mounted it onto this plate. You can see the jack shaft down there. Pulley drives on the one side and the chain drives on this side. Seems pretty straight. Running up to there. So good so far. My adjustment bolts. I welded a huge bolt onto here and I can raise and lower this. This is a hinge. There's the other bolt for the other side. And that just raises and tightens the chain. I can also tighten the chain from the wheel. So it's got a break, but this one's kind of crappy. I might uh, see if I can either fix that or exchange it. But I had to use this rear end, which is off my other mini bike, pocket bike. It didn't quite mount up quite right, so I might have to make some changes here where this mounts up. This is the one for this shaft. The one that went through this hole was too big to fit through this piece of pipe. So anyway, but there I mounted up my motor control. It required a piece of aluminum, so I got this piece of big plate. I cut this like 20 times on each side, and then I stuck it in between the stairs and bent it and snapped it off. It snapped off nice and clean without bending, so that's good. But uh, this is standard stuff here. The way this was hooked up, I'm really not too sure because this one here, these two front ones seem like they go to the battery. So that's B1, B2. Then in the back, it's got the A2, which the way I'm going to wind up doing it is I'm going to close off the A2. I'm just going to use the M, and then I'm going to bridge it off the, I think the B+. Plus. Maybe the B-. minus. I'll check my, my piece of paper again. But what I can't seem to find is this added extra piece here. I don't see that on too many of the other controllers that I've been playing, looking at for reference checks. So I don't know what that is. This is off of a little pocket bike. I don't know if it's a 5K, but I guess we'll find out soon. But anyway, I'm going to run these to the battery, or to the, to the motor. Positive M, and then... Okay, that's A2, so I'm going to disconnect that because uh, my piece of paper says that's not, don't use that one. But I'd like to know what that little plug is. If anybody knows, let me know. Yeah, but that's it. Put my two deep cells in there. I got two here. I was going to use three so I could have like an 18 volt, 18 volt boost and just connect a button up to the to the control to switch a solenoid to switch it from the 12 volts to the motor to the controller to the 18 volts direct to the motor yeah and bypass the controller but I don't know how easy that's gonna be I guess we'll see what happens but they're big batteries, so it should go for a while as it goes. And depending on how things go, I might change my pulley size and make it go faster. Because I had it on a direct switch before. And, uh... It worked pretty good off two batteries, but it had a lot of kick off the beginning, so... I didn't want to do too much with the pulleys, but with the motor control, I might be able to do more, gear it higher and just wind up into it. But there it is, my good beginning. I'll send some I'll add some pictures to this video when I take after I stick the batteries in and give it a shot. Maybe I'll make a new one. All right, thanks for watching.